It's uh, Monday morning, morning of day three. We decided to forgo breakfast at camp this morning, try to beat the winds. But as we're packing up, looks like the wind's already picking up. Not too bad yet. Hopefully it won't be so bad. It's a gorgeous morning though. A cloud in the sky. general direction we're going. It went in the face right off the bat. Chilly. Like cold this morning. Shame we're not going that way. It's come. Hey, you're right. When you look that way and then you look this way, it looks like two different days. Yep. <laughs> Freak. That's what's waiting for. <laughs> yeah. Into the wind again. If it wasn't for the 50 kilometer gusts of wind to come around shore. <laughs> you want to thread the needle? Why not? Big great care footage. Now give it a try. Okay, forward.
Yeah, you can pick your food. No, I want to get out of here. Before we get All right, Simon, explain to everybody what happened. Uh, so it's been a bit of a choppy day out here on the St. Croix. We left in fairly decent time this morning, but ever since we left, the winds just kept on picking up and picking up. And we're trying to go uh, upriver, essentially. So that doesn't help, but... So today we've uh, stopped, took a bit of a break. Wind's not going to die down, so we're heading back down to Todd Island. Two campsites there, one on either end. We're gonna stick up the Canadian end there and uh, gauge it from there. But I suspect we'll be staying the night, having a couple of beers, telling a few stories, and uh, we'll figure out what tomorrow's plan is when tomorrow gets here. It's a bobbly ride, though. Mm. Might as well keep cooler cam going. <laughs> <laughs> Still windy. Windy all day. We're supposed to make it to a place called the Ledges. Uh, we had to turn around. Waves got too big. Started white calving, wasn't worth taking a risk. So back to Todd Island. You can see us hanging out here tonight. Shelter from the wind. Awesome view. Except for the wind, it's been a really, really cool trip. No fish yet, not even a bite. We haven't tried that much. It's all a bit of a mess, apparently. Dean's down painting. I'm surveying the situation here. If anything goes wrong, I am all over it. <clears throat> These two are out with their, their life jackets. Safety first, of course. No matter what happens here, Mike's in trouble. He's in big trouble. Because now Sandra is stuck on a rock, 30 feet from shore, dirty water between here and there. Oh. Winter's coming! <laughs> Good? Is there a 
It's the 360 degree. Yeah, we'll be able to use the VR Tuesday morning, rode on the St. Croix again. Mike's about to launch into some fish for us for lunch. It's been a pretty dry run so far. But he's got a chance to redeem himself now. The fighter. Jesus, boy. Crap. I can't bring him in. He was big when I saw him jump. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a good size. Yeah. Woo! Stop, I, stop. You dropped the net. Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> no, we did. I paddled halfway across the lake for nothing. Come on. I did see Mike in action. Though. I have pliers right here. Unless, are you okay? Oh, that's a good sign. Fish of the day. Good one. Nice. First fish of the trip. Nice little smallmouth. Hang on. <laughs> it's okay. I'll let him go. Christ. Here he goes. Nice. Oh, he's got a good size. Nice. Nice. nice smallmouth bass. Look at the colors. Awesome. Buddy, let you go. Bit unexpected. This is a gorgeous campsite. Conditions couldn't have been better today. Nice and calm. 
full day. Got a couple of nice bass caught. Lost a really, really nice one. But, wow, what a payoff. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so while it would have been nice to set up over there, absolutely gorgeous, figured we'd go in here, get a little bit of shelter. You never know when gusts of wind can pick up on a lake, so here we go, a little bit of shelter. I don't see any widow makers, so. Should be pretty good, everything does seem to have some greenery to it. Another reason for setting out in here is uh, it's all rock over there, so almost impossible to put a peg in. And uh, it is possible to lash them to rocks and all that, but uh, a lot of the rocks we're seeing over there are used for the fire pit. And it'd be easy to find some out here, but it's just as simple just to set up in here. Plus, we're sheltered from the wind. Anyway, should be a good night. Looks like we're going to be spending two nights here. Sandra had uh, a big uh, bite right when we came in. I haven't uh, got any fish since, but uh, it's a promising start. This is the Neo Air and playful mat. This thing is massive. I'm sure it would fit a seven footer. It weighs nothing. It packs really small. It seemed big because I had my pillow wrapped up in there. And the MEC self inflating. Pretty cool. Very comfy. So as you can see, this thing absolutely massive. Incredibly comfortable. If I have one piece of advice to anybody starting to get into backpacking, camping, uh, anything, even bushcraft for that matter, anybody getting into it, starting out, uh, don't do the mistake I did. I started, you know, expensive tent, expensive sleeping bags. I always put it off to the end. Get an expensive sleeping mat. It's the best piece of gear you can bring. The best piece of gear. This thing, it doesn't matter if there's roots underneath you, rocks. It hasn't failed in many trips. I um, love this piece of kit.
the Neo Air also comes with this little pump. There you go, a couple of AA batteries. Most of the work's done for you. You have to add a little bit of air at the end, uh, usually just by blowing into it. Uh, adds a little bit of uh, moisture, but I mean, you know, a couple of breaths and brings it right up to the level where you need it. Here we go. Let it do the work for us. There we go. Around three to five minutes. There we go. Perfect. My wife has the exact same one. We put these on the floor. There's no air gaps at all. Comfortable and warm. Surprisingly warm. They actually even use these winter camping. Oh, I recommend adding a thin foam pad underneath, but still, the R value, really awesome. Bring him over to me. Don't reel really him in too much. Don't reel really him in too much. Okay. Bring him in. Oh. Bring it. Oh. Bring him this way. There you go. Oh. oh. Holy crow. That's mine. Big bass. That is a beauty. Sweet. Oh, he's pulling. Oh, crap. Under the boat. I can't even at the camera. Oh, yeah, he's big. I just got a glimpse of him. Whoa! Holy... Holy jumping Jesus! You have a lot of fish and chips with that one. Uh, there we go. Holy crap! That's a that's a big bass. Wow. Uh, wow. That's nuts. That's a nice smallmouth. You really chew. Huh? Make him put his back up there. Okay. Oh, 
he's a big boy. Can't see. Oh, that fish. In case anybody's curious, we're fishing with tubes. Sandra has more of a natural green, mine's more of a forest green. Either one of them, we're, we're getting hits, some nice bass. So anyway, hot weather, deep water, tubes work great. We got the jet boil going for supper tonight. Sandra's gonna have a rice medley. I'm gonna have a little macaroni. Yeah, we forgot to make this. 